Hello my good friends, let's talk about LiPos. I want to share my knowledge about LiPos with you because I have a lot of experience with Whoop Racing, over 3 years of Whoop Racing and over 10 years of RC model flying and as you can see I own and flew almost all high performance LiPos on the market and also low per performance LiPos and this is why I want to share my knowledge with you. So you can learn from my experience and you don't have to make the mistakes I did. The first uh, thing you need to know about LiPos is the capacity, the rated or labeled capacity in milliamp hour is not always true and can differ a lot between different brands and even between LiPos uh, with the, of the same brand and the exact same lipos are not always exactly the same this is also you can see this also in the weight the weight differs a lot and this is why we need we still need all up weight and dry weight to call out all up and dry weight because um, the difference is very high in weight on our lipos for example on this one here this is the heaviest lipo of my six lipos of this kind and as you can see 14.27 grams is the heaviest and the lightest is 13.84 grams which is quite a big difference in whoop racing and another example is this one 9.02 grams versus 8.85 gram and on, on such a small lipo this is a very big difference and this happens on all brands lipos are never exactly the same weight they can differ up to 1.5 gram keep in mind my friends my knowledge about lipos is always based on a bunch of lipos of the same type for example this one I have a full bag of this lipo and so with the others two my knowledge is not only from one lipo another important thing for you to know is the not only the rated capacity is not always true also the C rating is not always true and it is also most of the time way higher than in reality you can never pull out 90c of this lipo even the the cable is is too small for this so these are unreal numbers but you can say in general you can say lipos with the highest c rating are always the best lipos at least in comparison with lipos with a lot lower c rating for, for example uh, this 90C versus 45C LiPo or 20C LiPo, something like that. In this case, this LiPo is for sure better. And this is also important to know. And here is an example to show you the difference of LiPos with the same rated capacity. 12.34 grams. 12. 0.58 grams and 14.27 grams and for an example these two lipos also shared almost the same C rating 95C and 100C and we can say in general higher C rated lipos are a little bit heavier but as you can see even when the C rating is the same the weight can differ a lot between brands and so on so you can never be sure of the weight let's weigh those lipos tattoo 220 milliamp hour 45c 5.27 grams and i have to say these lipos here are always the heaviest lipos out of the bunch of lipos I have from the same type. This is Tattoo 270 
milliamp hour 75C folded cells. And this is the same kind, but 300 milliamp hour, also from Tattoo folded cell. And this is Tattoo R line, 300 milliamp hour 75C. This is GNB, 380 milliamp hour 90C. And then Emacs, 450 milliamp hour 80C. Beta FBV Lava, 450 milliamp hour 75C folded cell. GNB 450 milliamp hour 80C. Tattoo 450 milliamp hour 95C. Dotcom 450 milliamp hour 100C. Tattoo R line 500 milliamp hour 95C. GNB 530 milliamp hour 90C. Beta FPV 550 milliamp hour 40C. Beta FPV Lava 550 milliamp hour 75C. GNB 550 milliamp hour 100C. Dotcom 550 milliamp hour 150C. Alien 650 milliamp hour 60C. GNB 660 milliamp hour 90C. And GNB 720 milliamp hour 100C. Let's start with the heavier lipos. These three guys here. GNB 720 milliamp hour 100C. GNB 660 milliamp hour 90C. And Alien 650 milliamp hour 60C. These are two heavy lipos for me. In most of the cases, I do not, not like the weight of those lipos. They are clearly too heavy for 75 mm whoops or even 80 mm whoops like the Beta FPV 75 Pro or, or a 85 mm 1S whoop. They are okay maybe for very big racing on very large tracks outdoors or for cruising around but not for indoor racing in most cases. So let's put them away. And now we can go to the lipos I don't use anymore because I have better ones from the 450 milliamp hour size class. This one is very high C rating, but it's very heavy. Dotcom 450 milliamp hour 100C. I don't use this lipo anymore because it's too heavy and the dimensions are a little bit strange, so they don't fit in, in a 450 milliamp hour frame slot. And this is why I don't use them anymore. Emacs 450 milliamp hour 80C are, in my experience, almost the same performance like GNB 450 milliamp hour 80C. And I, use, I don't use those two lipos anymore because now I have my favorite lipo of the 450 milliamp hour size. It is rated 430 milliamp hour 90C, but it's the same dimension and weight of a 450 milliamp hour lipo, or it, it is even lighter, as you can see here. So I don't know why, but this LiPo is 
has very high performance and this is why I don't use the other ones anymore. And this one here is also very high performance, Tattoo 450mAh 95C, but I think it's not produced anymore and it has PH 2.0 instead of BT 2.0 connector or A30 connector and this is why I don't buy these lipos anymore but I think they are very very good lipos too but I use them don't use them anymore because of the plug and this one here is a the beta FPV lava 450 mAh 75C lipo is a very good lipo folded cell technology and but I don't like this kind of lipo too much I only bought this lipo because I want to test them or I had to test them and but mm, I don't use them too much then here the tattoo R line 500 milliamp hour 95c this lipo is the same like this one in terms of performance very good performance but um, you have to solder BT2.0 connector by yourself which is not very fun this is why I don't use these lipos anymore beta FPV 550 mAh hour lipo 40c this is an okay lipo but way too low C rating for me and beta FPV lava 550 mAh 75c I don't use this Lipo too much, it's a little bit too heavy in most cases for me. And this Lipo here, GNV 550 mAh 100C. This is a very high performance Lipo and I like it, but the format is a little bit strange, very long Lipo. You can damage, damage the Lipo in a crash here because it's so long. And this is why I don't use this Lipo anymore. Or I don't buy new ones and this lipo here tattoo or line 300 milliamp hour 75c is a very good lipo but for for example 65 millimeter whoops but not in in this version with the ph2 connector of course with bt 2.0 connector but it is a little bit too heavy for me This is why I end up flying the most with those six lipos here. The heaviest one is the DOCCOM 550 mAh 150C rated lipo, not high voltage, not normal 3.7 volts. And I like it a lot because it is the highest C rating of all my lipos and you, you can absolutely feel this in flight but it is also a little bit heavy so this is a very good lipo for bigger racetrack or for very big racetrack racetracks with uh, big gates and this is where I use this lipo and this is the best 450 lipo for me it's, it's rated 430 milliamp hours 90c but it's the same dimensions as a 450 lipo and also same weight and this is the very best 450 size lipo and then for smaller racetracks with 75 millimeter whoops I, I like this lipo a lot GNB 380 mAh 90C this lipo give you is giving you a very low disc load and the flight time is not too much shorter than with this one on full sand racing and then this 300 tattoo 300 milliamp hour 75c lipo is for 65 millimeter or very lightweight 75 millimeter builds then 27 270 milliamp hour 75c tattoo lipo is for 65 millimeter builds or also 
very lightweight 75 millimeter and this one here tattoo 220 milliamp hour 45c is also for very lightweight 75 and 65 millimeter builds but you have to solder on your own bt2.0 connector by yourself and it's very very hard to do so i can't recommend this but uh, it's the best lipo in this very small package so these are my favorite lipos my friends these days i don't have access to weed lead lipos maybe these are also very good lipos but i don't have them so these are my favorite lipos keep in mind my friends this is just my opinion and you have to test everything by yourself but also keep in mind you can only judge if a lipo is good or bad when your whoop is very good and your whole system needs to be low internal resistance otherwise you you can't judge for real if a lipo is good or bad and what this means is you need a bt 2.0 connector or a30 connector for sure and also a awg 20 main cable at least on 75 millimeter whoops as well as directly soldered motors to the board without motor plugs and high kv motors and also good esc settings for example on most of my high kv motors blue j 69 kilohertz firmware and so on only then you are only able to judge if a lipo is good or not if your system is good that's a very important thing more infos about lipos or my full knowledge of lipos are in the video description i hope this video has some value for some of you and i hope i see you soon on my channel and maybe we can make some progression together but i to be honest i don't know if i continue with this channel in english because i think my my knowledge is now out and in the world and i think it's more important for me to focus on my locals and maybe i change to german on this channel in the future because my english is very bad i think you can understand me but it's not very fun to listen to me so i think in the future i'm gonna change this channel to german goodbye my friends i wish you all the best and nice flights with your whoops let's whoop on my friends my friends goodbye